Archie and Lily but Sarelli footage having fun at home will melt your heart. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's children were seen playing freely. Prince Harry and Meghan released swathes of own video footage in their tell-all Netflix docuseries, Harry and Meghan. And among the clips that were included there is a collection of videos of their children Archie and Lilybird playing in the grounds of their Montecito mansion. Fan account at World Royal Family reshared a portion of the video clips, with the voiceover from the show, of Prince Harry saying. Just seeing Archie running across the lawn and this big smile. This is the world he knows. He spent his first five months in Windsor, that was it. This is home to him, this is home to Lily. And this is our home. The clips show Lily but tentative steps as she's holding on to her mother's hands as she's learning to walk. Meghan is pictured gardening with her children and in one moment Harry is playing ball with his son. Another sweet video showed the prince reading to his two kids on the sofa of their family home. Their stunning US home is the perfect place for raising their children as it comes complete with an epic adventure playground and a vast outdoor pool. As revealed in the series, and previously on their Oprah interview, the couple house chickens on their estate. Attending to them appears to be a family affair with the kids joining in the fun too. Inside the residence, the children have their own rooms and Lilibet's gorgeous nursery was even showcased in one of the episodes. The little ones can also make use of the game's room and immaculately decorated living spaces. The Netflix show also included photos of Megan's pregnancy bumps with both her children. There was one moment when Archie was seen resting on his mother's blossoming stomach. And another where the Duchess was barefoot on a beach while expecting. The family are incredibly close. He royal family may have their official titles but behind the scenes they each have special and affectionate nicknames for each other. Some of these nicknames are only used among the royal family and their nearest and dearest friends. A few of their nicknames are incredibly special while others are more unusual. We take a look at the nicknames used for the Prince and Princess of Wales. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex as well as Princess Beatrice and some of them may surprise you. King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla had given each other nicknames when they dated in their twenties. As seen on season four of The Crown, the now married couple apparently called one another Fred. And Gladys, inspired by characters from BBC Radio's The Goon Show. Princess Kate was nicknamed Squeak as a young girl at St Andrew's School in Berkshire. She explained how the name came about while on a visit to the school years later. I was nicknamed Squeak just like my guinea pig, she said. There was one called Pip and one called Squeak because my sister was called Pippa and I was Squeak. Popular at senior school, there were reports Kate was known as the princess in waiting by her fellow Marlborough College pupils. Sweetly, Prince William and Kate were overheard using their nicknames for each other at the Chelsea Flower Show in 2016. They referred lovingly to each other as Darling and Babe. While inspecting a poppy display, William asked his wife, Could you make one of these, darling? Princess Diana was the first person to give her son a nickname. Prince William revealed his late mum used to call him Wombat. In a 2007 interview with NBC's Matt Lua, he explained, It began when I was two. I've been rightfully told because I can't remember back that far. But when we went to Australia with our parents, and the Wombat, you know, that's the local animal. So I just basically got called that. Not because I look like a Wombat, or maybe I do. Meanwhile, the public and his friends call him Wills although his full name is William Arthur Philip Louis. At the University of St Andrews in Scotland, the future king was known as Steve to keep a low profile and avoid any unwanted attention. Affectionately the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex have a selection of sweet nicknames for each other. They call each other H and M, the initials of their first names. This was first revealed in an interview with Tom Brabby for ITV documentary Harry and Meghan. An African journey. In all honesty, I have said for a long time to H, that is what I call him, it's not enough to just survive something. That's not the point of life, she shared. You have got to thrive. You have got to feel happy. And I think I really try to adopt this British sensibility of a stiff upper lip. Also, Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan let slip they call each other Hus and Meg. In conversation about what the Queen gave their son Archie for Christmas, the Duke casually referred to Meghan as Meg. During James Corden's The Late Late Show in February 2021, he said, interestingly, 
My grandmother asked us what Archie wanted for Christmas and Meg said a waffle maker. She sent us a waffle maker for Archie so breakfast now, Meg makes up a beautiful organic mix, in the waffle maker, flip it, out it comes. He loves it. Archie literally wakes up in the morning and says waffle. Later on in the show, Megan's adoring name for her husband came to light. As James tried to persuade the couple to move, Megan referred to her husband as his. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.